Hello everyone, welcome to History and Culture. In the late Eastern Han Dynasty, warlords rose up, and after the Battle of Red Cliffs, the situation in China evolved into the three kingdoms of Wei, Shu, and Wu. In the year 266 AD, Sima Yan usurped Wei and established the Jin Dynasty, with its capital in Woyang, known as Western Jin. In 280 AD, Western Jin conquered Wu, thus completing the unification of the three kingdoms. Sima Yi, with his strategic foresight, orchestrated a political upheaval in his later years by deposing Chao Shuang and seizing control of the Chao Wei regime, laying the groundwork for the establishment of Western Jin. However, the Sima clan later became the only imperial family in Chinese history to be exterminated, ushering in one of China's darkest eras. In 239 AD, Emperor Chao Rui of Wei passed away in Luoyang, at the young age of 36, just like his father Chao Pai, a short-lived emperor. Upon Chao Rui's death, his eight-year-old son, Chao Fang, ascended to the throne, with Grand General Chao Shuang and Grand Marshal Sima Yi jointly assisting in governance. Initially, Sima Yi was marginalized by Chao Shuang, relegated to the powerless position of Grand Tutor. Subsequently, the reins of power in Chao Wei fell entirely into the hands of Chao Shuang. In 249 AD, when Chao Fang left Luoyang to pay respects at the tomb of Emperor Wei, Chao Shuang and his associates accompanied him. Sensing an opportunity, Sima Yi submitted a memorial to the Empress Dowager, requesting the removal of the Chao brothers from power, and swiftly took control of the entire capital, an event known as the Incident at Gaoping Tombs. At that time, Sima Yi continuously sent mediators to persuade Chao Shuang to surrender, even sending a letter promising safety and prosperity if Chao Shuang relinquished military authority. Despite initially believing these assurances, Chao Shuang's subordinates disagreed and advised him to take the Emperor Chao Fang to Xuchang, issue proclamations of loyalty across the realm, and confront Sima Yi in a decisive battle. However, Chao Shuang was no longer receptive to these suggestions. After a night of struggle, Chao Shuang decided to resign his post and return to the capital with Emperor Chao Fang. Upon their arrival, Sima Yi's forces surrounded them and imprisoned them. Later, Sima Yi disregarded his promises, accusing Chao Shuang of treason and executing him along with his family and supporters. Sima Yi showed no gratitude for the trust of Chao Chao or the guardianship of Chao Pai, showing a stark contrast in ethics. In the power struggle, sentimentality was disregarded, breaching moral boundaries. In 260 AD, Sima Yi's son, Sima Zhao, bribed Chao Mao's confidant, Cheng Ji. Seizing the opportunity, Cheng Ji assassinated Chao Mao. Upon learning of this, Sima Zhao shifted all blame onto Cheng Ji, executing him for the crime. As a close aide to the emperor, the act of regicide to seize power blatantly contradicted the loyalty to the emperor ideology propagated in orthodox education. This breach of moral standards was intolerable to the realm. In 266 AD, Sima Yi's grandson, Sima Yen, forced Emperor Chao Huan to abdicate, taking the throne and establishing the Jin dynasty. However, the Jin dynasty was short-lived. Shortly after Sima Yan's ascension, the infamous War of the Eight Princes erupted, lasting 16 years and resulting in the deaths of seven of the eight princes. Only Sima Yu, Prince of Donghai, survived and poisoned Emperor Jin Huai, installing his brother Sima Qi as Emperor Hui of Jin, known in history as Emperor Huai of Jin. The chaos of the eight princes brought a great calamity to the central plains. At that time, social and economic structures suffered severe disruptions, leading to the downfall of the Jin dynasty and nearly 300 years of turmoil, plunging China into the period of the Five Barbarians. In the year 318 AD, a descendant of the Sima clan, Sima Rui, re-established the Jin dynasty in Nanjing, known in history as Eastern Jin. The Jin dynasty was forcibly divided into two parts, Eastern Jin in the south and Western Jin in the north, 
where various minority ethnic groups began to occupy. Among these ethnic groups were mainly the Xiongnu, Chang, Xianbei, Di, and Jia, collectively known as the Five Barbarians. Many Han people who originally inhabited this region either perished due to warfare and famine or migrated southwards. After the chaos of the Eight Princes, Han people in the north comprised only one-third of the population. During this time, people of different ethnicities gathered together and began to establish their own kingdoms. Due to differing customs and communication barriers, conflicts arose continuously. Rebellions, skirmishes, and annexations occurred both between and within states, leading to rapid changes in national leadership and government. The incessant warfare resulted in continuous chaos and disorder. The treatment of Han people by the barbarians was akin to a butcher seeing lambs ready for slaughter, involving murder, rape, and all sorts of atrocities. In times of food shortage, the barbarians even resorted to using captured Han people as food, calling them two-legged sheep, implying they walked on two legs and could be eaten at will, like animals. They especially coveted young Han girls, forcing thousands of them to follow their armies for pleasure, and even consuming them for sustenance, in a horrendous manner. The period of the five barbarians lasted for 135 years, during which the Han population in the north was repeatedly decimated, nearly facing extinction. In the year 439 AD, the Xinbei-led Northern Wei dynasty unified the north, ending this darkest period in Chinese history. While the north was in upheaval, the eastern Jin in the south continued to struggle. From 318 AD, when Sima Rui rebuilt the Jin dynasty in Nanjing, until 420 AD when Lu Yu deposed the Jin Emperor Gong for himself, there were eleven emperors in 102 years. Among these eleven emperors, seven were mere puppets, with only two dying of natural causes, and nine meeting untimely deaths. The frequent changes in emperors led to extreme political instability. The last emperor of Eastern Jin, Emperor Gong, was openly usurped by General Lu Yu, who established the Song dynasty, known as the Southern Dynasties, and became Emperor Wu of Song, hailed as the first emperor of the Southern Dynasties. Thus, Eastern Jin met its demise. The fall of the Jin dynasty, akin to the shame of Jinkong of the Northern Song dynasty, led to a massive slaughter of the Sima clan by Lu Yu after his usurpation. It is said that no member of the Sima clan survived, making them the only imperial family in Chinese history to be exterminated. This is History and Culture Channel, like, and, subscribe, are the biggest help and support for us, thank you everyone, see you next time.